happy Easter here. Now, I'm outside St. Paul's Evangelical Lutheran Church as an ELCA church, which is the very liberal branch of Lutheranism here in the United States. And I'm going to be taking the gospel to these people here today. Looks like they got a, a pretty decent size crowd here for me to preach to, so that's kind of good. So I'm going to take the gospel to them this morning and make sure they hear the word of God. Yes, so they should be coming out this this area like they usually do right here. Usually they come out to crowd the people. And then, after that, I'm going to wait around and preach outside St. Mary's here. So you can see St. Mary's Roman Catholic Church right across the street from here. And I'm going to be preaching to them also. Getting the gospel out to them also. The goal is to reach lost people for Jesus Christ here, dear viewers, so... Okay, so I'm gonna get everything kind of set up here. Got my gospel signs on. I'm ready to go, so I will be back when the preaching begins. God bless. Stay I mean, tuned. just trickling out right now, but they're gonna be coming out more, so we're gonna... I'm gonna walk down that way a little bit and preach the gospel to them. They, they come out usually that side, side over here, I'm not sure how to, um, I'm going to try here. I see him coming down this way, pouring out like a... So I'm going to walk down here some. Salvation. 
Jesus Christ came to seek and to save that which was lost. The Bible says, for there is no difference, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. The good news is that Jesus Christ came into the world to save sinners. The Bible says if we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. Lutheran friends, listen up. Your baptism will not save you. Your sacraments will not save you. Martha Luther brought a false gospel. Martha Luther was a deceiver, a lost sinner, friends. Growing up today, my Lutheran friends, is Jesus Christ. There's only one doorway to heaven, there's only one doorway of salvation, and that is Jesus Christ. Make sure this is right. I don't want to lose my footage like the last time. Yeah, it's still going. Yeah. John, yeah. Stand here. Salvation in any other. 
for there is none other name under heaven given among men but whereby we must be saved. Today, my friends, is the day of salvation. Your book or chapter cannot save you, cannot absolve you of one of your sins. Only God can forgive sins, folks. Only Jesus Christ can save sinners. And I plead with you today, Lutheran friends, to repent, to believe the gospel, to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. The Bible says, Sir, what must I do to be saved? Be saved, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. Yes, folks, within your church you have to say Paul, but you do not teach what St. Paul said. St. Paul never said that baptism is saved. St. Paul never taught that you're justified by your works. St. Paul never taught that good works will get you to heaven. That's not what St. Paul says, folks. I suggest that you read the Bible. Read the Bible. Most people here in the United States have the Bible in your home. How many of you actually read the Bible and study it? How many of you actually check what your pastor says against what the Bible says? How many of you really? Ask yourself that. The Bible says that the Holy Scripture are able to make one wise unto salvation, which is through faith in Christ Jesus. It's the Bible, friends, the Holy Scriptures. Pick up the Bible today. It's Easter Sunday. Turn off the Netflix. Turn off the sports. And read the Bible. Do yourself a favor, folks. See what God says. You want God to speak to you? Read the Bible. God has plenty to say to you through His written word, the Bible, folks. Get yourself a King James Version Bible and read them. See what God says. See what God has to say to you today. Read the Gospel. Read the Gospel of John. Let's make it simple. Read the Epistle to the Romans. You will not find that baptism saved in the Bible, folks. You will not see in the Bible that you can baptize an infant. An infant cannot repent nor believe. The Bible says that baptism is only for those who believe. It's only for those who believe the Gospel. Only those who have been born again by faith in Jesus Christ. Repent, my Lutheran friends, and believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. Yeah. A lot of people are here. Yeah. I'm going to walk down this way for now. Let's get to preaching here. Preaching up the Word of God here. Yeah, I think they're coming up this way, so you could. Okay, that's good. It is Easter Sunday, and today is the perfect day to be saved from your sins. Today is the perfect day to repent. And to believe the gospel. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved, my friend. There's only one doorway to heaven, and that is Jesus Christ. Not your church, not your pastor, it's not Lutheranism, it's not Martin Luther, it's not the Catechism. It is Jesus Christ, friend. The baptism will not save you. Hear this. Your baptism will not save you. Your baptism cannot wash away a single sin. The Bible says, in whom we have redemption through his blood. Talking about Jesus Christ. It's only through the blood of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ died a horrible, bloody death for you on the cross so you can be saved from your sins. You have to accept that payment that Jesus Christ made for you by faith, by believing on the Lord Jesus Christ. My friends, do not reject the gift of God today. You are not good enough. No 
to heaven. The Bible says that there's not a just man upon earth that doeth good and sinneth not. The Bible says, for there is no difference, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. The Bible says that both Jew and Gentile, that they are all under sin. We have all sinned in the sight of God. All men stand condemned because of sin. The only hope today, Lutheran, is the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man come up unto the Father but by me. Jesus Christ offers you today the forgiveness of sins. It is written in Acts chapter 10, verse 43, to him give all the prophets witness that through his name, talking about the name of Jesus Christ, that through his name, whosoever believeth in him shall receive the remission of sin. Today, my friends, that they repent and to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. Okay, I gotta move over, just fly over here. It's going, 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 as they say. This may be your only last opportunity to hear the gospel. The Bible says, For what is your life? It is even as the vapor that appeareth for a little, uh, little season and then vanisheth away. You see, we're not guaranteed another day on this earth. The Bible says that there's an appointed time for man's life. And today, today, to repent of your sins, to believe the gospel, to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. You're not guaranteed another day, folks. And if you die in your sins, you will die and end up in hell, folks. The Bible says that the rich man died and was buried, and in hell he lifted up his eyes, being in torment. Yeah, hell is a real place, folks. Don't let the pastor tell you that people don't go to hell or hell is empty. That's a false teaching, folks. Jesus Christ taught more about hell than he did heaven because Jesus Christ wore it. He believed in a literal burning hell, folks. The Bible says that the wicked shall be burned into hell and all the nations that forget God. You can laugh about it if you want to, but you're laughing to your own peril because the Bible says that fools make a mock of sin, folks. And the ELCA Lutheran Church has much to repent of who have accepted what God calls an abomination like homosexuality and transgenders. God calls that an abomination, folks. Your church embraces these wicked things. we have got much to repent of. And your only hope today is Jesus Christ. See, God has no pleasure in the death of the wicked. God would have all men to be saved, folks, and to come unto the knowledge of the truth. The Bible says that God is not willing to any to perish, but that all men should come to repentance. God wants you to repent. He wants you to believe on His Son, the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ came into the world to seek and to save that which is lost. And your only hope today, my Lutheran friends, is the Lord Jesus Christ. There is no salvation in any other, for there is none other name, none other name, given among men, whereby we must be saved. Let me flip this around here. You see, my friends, today is the day of salvation. The Bible says that behold, now is accepted time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. Today is the day to repent. This is the day. The Bible says, For what is your life? It is even as a vapor that appears for a little time, then vanishes away. You can die tonight, folks. You can go home on your way home and get involved in a horrible dream that will snuff out your life. We're not guaranteed another day, another minute, or another second, folks. The Bible says, For what is a man profited? If he regains the whole world and loses his own soul. Your soul is very precious, folks. You should think about your eternity. Eternity is too long 
to be wrong about we are going to spend your eternity. You see, the Bible says that the wicked shall be turned into hell, folks. You can, that is guaranteed, folks. If you die in your sins, you'll end up in hell. The Bible says that there is none righteous. No, not one. The Bible says that the heart of man is desperately wicked and deceitful above all things. Who can know it? The heart is wicked, folks. And that's why Jesus said you must be born again. You must be regenerated by the Holy Spirit of God. The only hope is Jesus, folks. That's the only hope. Jesus Christ came into the world to save sinners, the Bible says. God says he's not willing that any should perish. God would have all men to be saved and to come unto the knowledge of the truth, folks. You got God's word on this. God's word tells us that the wicked shall be turned into hell. Hell is not, um, not an imaginary place, folks. Hell is a real place. Jesus Christ spoke about a rich man that died and was buried, and in hell he lifted up his eyes, being in torment. You see, hell is a real place, folks. I don't care what the ELCA claims otherwise. Hell is a real place, and it's a place for sinners, folks. And if you die in your sins, if you reject Jesus Christ, if you trust in anything other than Jesus Christ for salvation, if you trust it in your baptism, you will not... Not the Bible says that we are saved by grace through faith, and that not of yourself, it is the gift of God, not of work, lest any man to boast. The only hope to be is the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him do not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. You know, you get a lot of the, uh, what do you call that, the, um, once or twice a year Catholic, because, you know, the Catholic Church has oh, holy days of there. obligation. Most Catholics are like Sunday Catholics or Saturday night, then sin all you want after that. Is that how it works? Yeah. You know, and then go to the priest and get some absolution, you yeah, know, you know, know, the confession of boots. Well, you know, when I was Catholic, I was one of those religious Catholics. I didn't just go just one. I went to the Mass a lot. Well, because I was just a child, I liked the teenager. You know, so I couldn't go too far as I would be in trouble with my, my mother. Like, what were you at? I got beaten. I was just full of I don't want to. All right, well. All right, well, thank you. I've got to go with my brother, so i got to bring him cranberry sauce. And we got to eat some unkosher ham today, I guess. <laughs> Yeah, okay. I'm not Jewish, so I could eat it. So. I had to make a joke because ham's actually unkosher. Remember Antiochus Epiphanes yeah. and the um, the rubber bells temple. What was that? 163 BC, I think that was. Yeah. Remember the ham on the altar yeah. to yeah. Zeus. Yeah. All right. Enjoy. All right. Well, thanks. I appreciate it, though. That's.
I guess it's a kind heart though. All right, well, have a good day. Be careful, really. Yes, it's over. We go to Captain Town. Talk to you. The good news is that Jesus Christ came to seek and to save that which was lost. That means you, because even if you're the last person out here, folks, I mean, that's why I'm out here to tell you the gospel, how to be saved and why you need be, to be saved. You see, the Bible says that there is none righteous, none righteous, no, not one. The Bible says there's not a just man upon earth that doeth good and sinneth not. Jesus Christ, he came into the world to seek and to save that which was lost. The Bible says that God would have all men to be saved and to come unto the knowledge of the truth. But Jesus Christ also warned people. He warned people about hell, folks, about the damnation of hell. You see, we all deserve hell. The Bible says that the heart of man is desperately wicked and deceitful above all things who can know it. The Bible says, for what is a man profited if he should gain the whole world and lose his own soul? See, the Bible tells us, folks, that your soul is precious. But what is, what is a man profited if he should gain the whole world and lose his own soul? You could gain everything that this life has to offer you, but you will die in your sins and end up in hell. And how are you profited? You see, Jesus Christ, my friends, spoke more about hell than he did heaven. Because he's warning us that sin has an awful price. See, God's not going to wink at your sin. He's not going to say, it's okay, I excuse you this time. No, because the Bible says that the wicked shall be turned into hell and all the nations that forget God. So that's why I'm out here today to tell you the gospel so you can be saved. Because the Bible says, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. For God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world but that the world through him might be saved. And here we go, some Lutherans, they probably could care less about what I got to tell them but ah, it's okay, warn them anyway. It's like the prophet Ezekiel, rather they hear or forbear, Give him a warning, so I'm warning him from God's Word, the Bible. So my next thing will be preaching to the Roman Catholics here, and you got a big crowd today. All these cars are went to the. These are all the people from the Catholic Church here. They're parked here, parked there. Look at this huge. So I'm going to be preaching to them next. So I'm going to stand right out here. I'm going to preach from my perch right here. This is a pretty good spot. I can reach all the people that's coming here and there. Oh, as they come out from the mass here. So they're going to get the gospel next. Once this... I think the Lutheran church is pretty much finished here. Um, we got a few cars. Okay, so I'll be back there, viewers.